so being a teenage business owner, a student business owner, it goes, involves going to school from 8 a.m. to 2 p.m. every day, then figuring out how to fit in homework, work, and exercising and extracurriculars and sleep as well into one full day. <laughs> so I graduated in, with the class of 2016 from Santa Barbara High School this year. And I was a member of the Multimedia Arts and Design Academy, better known as the Mad Academy, where we take classes in graphic design, web design, social media management, film, produ film production, and photography. Now, the number one questions I was asked throughout high school are, what do you want to be when you grow up? Or, what is your passion? And I think it's a little, I, we have a class at the high school called Freshman Seminar where you are required to choose a job and then make an entire life out of, like design your life out of it, what you would make and what your life would be like. And I think it's a little silly to be asking a 14 year old what they want to do with their life. <laughs> but, um, <laughs> so passion, this challenge daunted me throughout high school and what I wanted to do with my future. So, and it's not something that's easy to go out and look for, but I was lucky enough to fall into a path that led me to figure out one of my interests that I wanted to take with me for the rest of my life. So I played water polo for six years, since fifth grade for Santa Barbara Water Polo Club and um, Santa Barbara High School varsity team. But it ended up, with those two practices, it was just incredibly time consuming and I had no time outside of water polo in school to find out any interests or what I wanted to do in college. So I decided to stop water polo and take more classes at the high school. So I was already in the Mad Academy, but I joined the Don Snack Cafe, which is a group of student-run businesses and entrepreneurs. So in there, I joined a business called Design and Cut, where I then designed logos for our school's sports team, such as the football and soccer teams, as well as uh, local nonprofits such as Earth Day. And then the second semester project for our computer business class was to design a business plan. So I, using my skills from the Mad Academy, designed Fell Creative, a web design, graphic design, and social media management firm, <laughs> offering freelance graphic design and web design to bring companies to their net presence. Now, my teachers encouraged me to submit the business plan in the Scheinfeld New Venture Challenge, which is a business plan competition through Santa Barbara City College. And so we had to create a 10-minute presentation to then give a business plan pitch to three local business owners in Santa Barbara. And now I ended up being one of the top 10 finalists of all the business plans, but at this point, it was second semester junior year, which is admittedly the hardest year of high school and that matters most for colleges. So at this point, I had to keep straight A's, study for finals, study for final end projects, as well as the daunting SAT and ACT. So after a couple of mental breakdowns, I made it to my presentation fully prepared and I gave my pitch to local business owners and I ended up winning first place out of all of the business plans from Oxnard County down to Fast Notes. <laughs> Thank you. So I was awarded a thousand dollar grant to start my business. And before this, I had no intentions of starting my business. Um, I just more did the project as a form of experience and something to put on my college application. But when I was given the grant to start my business and the first place prize, I gained the confidence to start my business on a real local level. So I spoke at the Spirit of Entrepreneurship Award Ceremonies, which is the award ceremony for the Scheinfeld New Venture Challenge, which from there I met a, a large majority of my current and former clients. And through those, I did freelance graphic design, web design, and marketing, and ran social media accounts for these companies. I also spoke at the South Coast Business and Technology Awards ceremony, where I told, I told 700 local business owners how I started a business while being in school and on my way to college. And so when I started looking for colleges, I decided I wanted to major in business, so I started searching for colleges based on their rank of business school and, bis and business major. And before this, I had, if I had not known I wanted to go into the business school, 
it, it really narrowed down my choices because many of the colleges I was, I was really interested in, I found it out, didn't have a business school after all this, which is a major problem when students are going into college because they get to the school and realize that school may or may not have the major that they want to do. But after many tours and college essays, I decided to commit to Cal Poly San Luis Obispo, where I'll be majoring in business administration in the Orfila College of Business, as well as minoring in graphic communication, so I can continue my multimedia design. Mm -hmm. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> and throughout this process, I was able to meet um, some incredibly influential and important business owners in the local county that all grew up born and raised in Santa Barbara and are doing similar to what I was doing. And I was able to then help these older companies gain a, pre a net presence in our growing world of technology. So at this point, I would say that it's incredibly important and crucial that students in high school get out outside of the classroom and find an internship or a job that's in some sort of their career interest before, so to get that experience before going into college. Because in high school, it's easy to get trapped in the routine of required classes and standardized testing and ACT and SAT and not know what they want to do when they get out and graduate. So I encourage everyone to explore interests and find that before getting into college to find a career path they enjoy. Thank you for your time. Thank you.